In this lesson, we are going to talk about one of the most important concepts in stand-up paddle technique, and that is bringing our body up to the blade. Before we get into the details of the stroke, we need to go over why we use certain movements in our technique and exactly what is going on when we propel the board through the water. Without getting into hydrodynamic theory and too much technical information that will put you to sleep, you can try to understand one simple fact. When we are paddling, we are moving the board through the water by bringing ourselves up to a secured paddle. We are not pulling the paddle through the water. You can see in this video that I am planting the land paddle, it is not dragging, and I am bringing myself up to the stationary paddle. The same thing is happening on our boards on the water. You can also use a visualization of the movement a cross-country skier uses when they stick their poles in the snow and drive themselves forward without dragging the poles through the snow. When you rip the paddle through the water using your arms, you will create a poor connection between your blade and the water. This is often called cavitation or slippage and is an inefficient way to paddle. Basically, what is happening is that your arms are doing the work and your board speed is slower than the speed in which you are bringing the blade through the water with your arms. Simply put, this is an inefficient way to paddle and it's not much different than spinning your tires in wet grass. Concentrate on only pulling the blade through the water as fast as your board speed will allow. If you understand this simple fact in visualization, it will help you throughout your technique work in all of your paddling, and you are going to paddle much faster and much more efficiently. The visualization of bringing my body up to a well-set paddle rather than ripping the paddle through the water with my arms helped me tremendously when I first got into paddling, and it still does today. Mm -hmm.